What's going on YouTube? I'm here with a video on how to use assembly, which is a Halo Reach and a Halo 3 and a Halo 4 modding tool. And I'm going to be covering the basics for it. So, yeah, what you got to do is open your map. I'm going to be doing a uh, Forge World for this one. Oops, I was doing a beta earlier, but. So yeah, you just find your map that you want to mod. Multiplayer. Forward world. And you open up your map. If you go to your tools, settings, Xbox 360 development. This is going to be uh, your IP, your debug IP, that, that, your XEX menu. Hey, you just type that in and then you can RTE. You're going to need an um, BM plugin as well. So you can RTE and neighborhood, Xbox 360 neighborhood. So yeah, once you got your map open, you're going to go, um, if you want to edit your jump height, like how high you jump, you're going to go to BIPED, B-I-P-D, right there. Click on it once. Whatever you're, if you're an elite, you're gonna do the elite. If you're a Spartan, you're a Spartan. So click on Spartan. Let it, give it a second. <coughs> and you're gonna type in um, jump, then space V, <coughs> and then your jump height's right here. So you're just gonna. I usually do six. Six is like the best. We can do as much as much as you want. If you're just doing it to the map, you're going to hit save. If you're going to RTE, you're going to hit poke. And as you can see, when you hit that, it's going to send it to the game right away. Now you can super jump. So that's the super jump tag. Biped. If you want to run really fast, or just run faster, scroll down a little down. <clears throat> and we're going to go to MATG, which is globals. So we're going to click on that, and click on globals. We're going to type in speed. <clears throat> now you're going to see this one right here. See where it says play speed? If you do this one, it's going to affect you and everybody else in the in the game. If you want to do it just yourself, by the way, if you do this one, where it affects everybody in the game, um, it won't work. You have to be a host. But if you want to do off host, where you can join anybody's game and run really fast, Scroll down a little bit, it's not really that far, and you're gonna find this the player information where you can change your speed. This is the speed that I always do, and it's always the best, even if it's a small or a big map. So, yeah, just put it like that, and that's like the best. It's recommended. And you just hit poke. This one sometimes takes a little longer than the yellow tag. What you may get an error like that, you just have to repoke it like this, and it'll send it to your Xbox. Like once in a while, yeah, I'll do a couple errors. Yeah, see now it did it. So we just covered super um, jump and super speed. Now, how about we do rapid fire or a limited ammo? We're gonna go to uh, weapons. We're gonna do the DMR because that's the one I like to use. So go to your uh, DMR. I already know that some people like to uh, play in third person. Even that's my favorite, my personal favorite. So you're gonna scroll down a little bit until you see a bunch of um tags or flags rather. See where it says weapon, and you see a bunch of these. Scroll like a little all the way down almost and see where it says third person camera. You're gonna click on that, make sure there's an X on that. Now you can play in third person. Now scroll a little bit near the bottom and scroll. When you see a bunch of these letters and numbers, you're gonna scroll up. That means you went too far. Now, where it says rounds per shot, it says one. You're gonna change that to a zero. Now you have unlimited ammo only if you're host. <clears throat> now, if you want it, so when you every time you tap the R trigger, it's, it shoots really, really fast. You change both of these to zero, and then if you want it completely automatic, 
you scroll up a little bit up sorry if I'm going too fast you can pause the video where it says behavior you're gonna change that to spew spew whatever and then it's gonna become automatic like, a, like an assault rifle and you hit poke or if you had this editing in the map and then put it on your Xbox via FPP, you hit save. So now you have rapid fire and unlimited ammo. So these are just the basics. There's way more stuff you can do. I'll cover one more thing. Um, <coughs> swapping grenades, what they make, like a grid or whatever. Uh, I'm going to go up a little bit where it says grenades. Now projectiles is like rockets, fuel rods, stuff like that. If you wanted to throw a, um, uh, a grid or a kill ball, you're gonna go all the way up to block. Block is all the items that you can are spawnable on a map. So where you can see them: street cone, fusion coil. You just select whatever you want. All these are all these you can do. They won't freeze your Xbox. Like see soccer ball, kill ball. It has a weird name to it. Damage sphere. That's the kill ball in the grid. You just gotta find it all the way up. The grid, should, yeah, here's the grid. Grid underscore object. If you want to spawn, um, what you call it? Uh, Spartans. You go to biped. Remember from earlier on in the video, and then you're gonna see Spartans. You're gonna throw Spartans. <laughs> so yeah. <coughs> I mean, and if you're in the global tag and you scroll up a little bit more, you can actually change people's armor color in the, in the lobby to what and during the game. Active camo and the waypoint. Waypoint is the little red arrow, so you can see where everybody is. You can make it so everybody can see that, or just your team can see it. Now the jump height right here. Um, it says it can go up to 400, so when you put 400, it's going to make everybody in the lobby super jump, including yourself. So if you already made yourself super jump with this, and then you do this one, you're going to jump twice as higher. And then you can do infinite ammo at the bottom of this clip, and that affects everybody in the game. So, <coughs> that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, or if there's a certain thing I didn't cover in this video just let me know and I can help you out I'll respond to a comment so yeah I hope this video helped and you know a little more so thank you for watching guys comment rate and subscribe I'll see you guys in the next video peace out